All right, uh, look at the beginner's retreat uh, information sheet that I've given to you all. Our policy regarding donations and funding. Our retreats and courses are organized by, that are organized, are strictly on a voluntary sponsorship or donation basis. Okay, so everything is done by donation. For meals, we call it sponsorship. That means we sponsor the meals. For example, I'm a sponsor, which means I give all of you. I'm giving food to all of you. When you have food, then you have energy to practice. Okay, so that is why we need to have sponsors for the retreat. So because some of you are doing this for the first time, you are very new to this concept. So we don't expect you to do much donation. But after this, we hope that you will join us in the group to do donations to whatever retreats that we are organizing. This is how we organize ourselves. We started with my first batch of yogis and we have carried on now it's almost 10 years ago. Okay, that we have used this concept. So we do not charge yogis. If you go to other meditation centers, they charge you. So you have to pay for this day. If you stay 10 days, you pay 10 times 8 days. Day. So it's 50 days. Okay, if you go to some centers, they charge you 50 days. Go to America, they touch you 30 US dollars a day. I have some yogis, they just told me that they are attending a retreat in March also, and he has to pay 30 US dollars a day just to stay in the retreat. So if you stay for 30 days, it's going to cost you more than one hour. Those who have completed and benefited from the cost are encouraged to serve, to sponsor, donate for future courses or retreats. The teachers and the voluntary staff will not receive any kind remuneration to ensure the propagation of the Buddha's teachings is free from any form of commercialization. So why do we do this? Number one, we do it so that we can get benefits. If you pay for yourself, you don't get any benefit. Right? If I pay for you, I pay for your food, I get benefits. Right? And then you practice meditation, you get benefits. You share your merits with all beings. So many people will get benefits. Do you understand? So this is something that we should encourage so that future meditation centers do not charge yogis to practice. And number two, we do not want people to commercialize it. You know, I can always advertise I'm the teacher having this retreat. To join this retreat for 10 days, you must pay 300 rupees. This is commercialization. And then at the end of the day, we might not be happy. We must start to criticize the teacher. We must start to besides the food that you receive in the center. Correct or why? Because you paid for it. So you think you have a right to complain. <laughs> but now you all didn't pay, huh? so you cannot complain about anything. <laughs> in the retreat, you cannot complain about the food. You cannot complain about the accommodation because you are living on charity. It's very good also on the retreat because it makes you more humble. It's a very humbling experience. Okay, humble. You make yourself humble. You are living on charity. You are staying on charity. Everything is donated to you. You are receiving. Okay, number four, we encourage people to give because it's a it's a blessing to give than to receive. When you receive, it's not a blessing. When you give, it's a blessing. So we encourage this. So reminder for the items to bring. Huh? So number one, all your bathing materials. So don't come and ask me. Huh? If you ask me, I can give you, but I said just now, you must wash and dry and keep it. Bath towel and toiletries, all your stuff, your soap and whatever. But if you forgot, don't worry, because we keep some for people who forget. <laughs> so we have one box for some uh, hotel soap, hotel toothbrush, and toothpaste and so on. So you can pass it away for shower cap and so on. So if you forgot, you just let us know when you check in that you will try to keep it. Water bottle, yes, very important. Bring your own water bottle, you know, the water bottles that you carry. Now, don't bring the, the type of bottle, mineral water bottle. You know, the mouth is very small. When you fill up from the dispenser, it's going to leak everywhere. Put the dirty in the floor and the table. So, bring something like that with a white cup. Just a water bottle with a white cup. So, easier for you to collect the water. Whether you want to bring thermos glass or ordinary water bottle, that's up to you. Then, your preferred supplements. We do not supply you with your supplements because we don't know what supplements to take. If you take vitamin C, you take statin, you take your whatever pills, please bring them along. And then, you can put them at your 
table when you are coming for the lunch or the breakfast. And in this table, the table because you need to have the tables. Right? And we do not fix your positions, your sitting position, because sometimes numbers change. So please take it away. You can carry a small first and then take it away with you when you finish your meal, take it away to your room. Your own meditation cushion if you prefer. Otherwise, we have, you know, this zabu bar, we have this part there at the same time. We have that the other smaller ones also. And then we also have the ones that you know, the soft ones that the sister kept for you all. So you can bring your own ones also. But if you're bringing the ones that sister kept offered, please have your name there. Otherwise it's gonna be mixed up. Touch light. Just in case we have a power play. A small touch light. But nowadays your phone has a touch light. So you don't need that. Nose files dish to the Nose means all this. Put all the notes that I gave you in one folder and bring it along with you. We're not going to give you a cane huh, when we are there. We will issue you with lesson 9 and 10 when we are there. So we also want you to put it inside. When you come back for future courses, you will not be given anymore. If they want to review the course, you can register and then you come back with your own notes. So we don't issue any more notes to you. This is to save paper, huh? save the environment. Mosquito and insect repellent. Now, they are normally not a problem there, okay, unless you go to the garden. Okay, so at night, don't go to the garden and walk. Stay inside and do your walking and sitting. Because it has a lot of uh, this uh, mosquito screens you come in the meditation hall. So we are protected from mosquito bites. And in your room also, uh, you may have mosquitoes if you open the windows and the doors. So that's basically for your room. But so far, uh, we have many, we have had many teachers there, and none of the goodies complain about mosquitoes or insects. Uh, but there's a cat problem. Huh? So you are staying in the back rooms, huh? room three and four. Normally, uh, the, when the windows are open, the cats can come in. So beware of that. <laughs> so don't open it so wide and open it in it. And anyway, there's air conditioning. So if you prefer, you can use the air conditioning. But it's best to discuss with your partner first because you are sharing rooms and then you ask your partner if it's fine if not, you can come to us and ask what okay, let's say your partner can't sleep without the aircon or can't sleep without the fan on and you can't take the fan under the aircon then you have to tell us so we we'll pay you with someone who is similar okay then um, umbrella, raincoat to get to your car, that's all so I'm sure you have one in your car okay, so just bring it in with you because when you leave, the one time you went and then we were going to leave, we started to call and then, you know, you may have one umbrella to use. White t-shirt, white trousers, track bottoms, uh, you, I forgot to mention, you can wear white also, so totally white, like in Thailand, white top, white bottom, everything white. That is actually the standard colour during the Buddha's time. But it's not practical, uh, many people don't like to wear white bottoms, so we accept dark colours. A shawl, yes, very important, you must bring a shawl. I think all of you know is a shawl, right? This lady here, she's putting on a shawl. So it can be any color, but preferably white or brown. Okay? Or a cardigan. If you don't have a shawl, then a cardigan. A shawl is more uh, practical because you can cover any part of your body. <coughs> Face mask, yes. Your own RTK box in case you think you need it. Your own fake preferred sachet, coffee, and tea. You don't know what brand you take. Huh? You take Essenso, or you take Kenes Cafe, or you take white coffee, you go white coffee, you go India, whatever. So if you like a particular brand, don't expect us to supply you. Huh? You bring them. Huh? After all, you bring first, okay, right? If you like Teh Tarik with Hanya, then you bring your Teh Chok, Teh Tarik with Hanya. So whatever you like to bring, huh? very easy to bring, like huh? 22 days. Okay, so you bring it with you, and then you have it in your small little purse. You have to line up for the meal time. Okay, so you want to use it as a slave or put it in your pocket, it's fine. We are not going to issue keys, you know, keys to lock your door. We are not going to issue because it's very messy. You have to take down your name and then when people check out, they forgot, they go home with the key. And then what are you going to do? <laughs> so, to save all the hassle, we are not, we're not going to allow you to lock your doors. So, you must bring a small padlock for your camping bag. A suitcase, a small little teeny weeny carry overnight bag, duffel bag, 
So you can lock it. If you are afraid that your phone will be stolen. Okay, you know that kind of lock, combination lock? I think that's good enough. Actually, the place is very safe. So far, we have had all our riches there. Nobody has ever broken in and stolen anything. Okay, so, but still to be on the safe side. I'm sure you don't want to lose your phone and your money, right? And your credit cards as well. So just bring a small uh, combination lock to lock your bag. Now, everybody, please don't carry too much stuff. Don't carry a big suitcase just for two days. <laughs> so you bring a small bag, carry bag, just to put your stuff inside. All you need are your toiletries and your clothes. That's all. And of course, your reading material, you need another bag. That's it. Put all the things together with your blanket and everything. The best is sleeping bag. Very easy. Off bag. Once you sleeping bag, you don't need blanket, you don't need beach day. For pillow, you can use the meditation cushion. You can use this one, uh, yeah. From the meditation hall, you can use this also. Okay. Then, description meditation, yes, same like your supplements. So, this, please pick, as you pack your things, please pick it off. Then you know whether you've got everything. If you miss something, that's no. Don't go all the way to Kapata and uh, expect your driver and all your passengers in the car to follow you. Do not bring this food that needs to be bought or cooked. Okay, we don't want you to do any cooking or any boiling. So to avoid bringing this type of food, biscuits or other snack food for yourself, candies are allowed. Okay? If you think you, you have to take certain candy, not certain things for yourself, then you are allowed. But actually, it's not necessary. Don't bring the snack food like chocolate and all that for yourself. Because you don't want any ants problem in your rooms. If you want to bring candies, okay. Because candies you can take after 12 o'clock, but not chocolate. Biscuits, chocolate, etc. Computers, laptops, tablets, iPads, please avoid them. Okay. Illegal drugs, of course, jewelry, please avoid alcohol and tobacco, avoid pets, weapons, and dangerous sharp items, washing detergent, no need. We have that if you really need to wash something. Hangers, pails, or laundry also we have in every house. Other valuable possessions apart from the handphone. Okay? So your handphone is about the only thing that's valuable and your money, your wallet, that's it. Sign in, check in process, sign the indemnity form, get your room number, very important. You need to know which room you are going to. Bring, uh, get the mailing card if you need it, but I think all of you will need it. Sign for it, please verify which date we have been assigned to. For example, if the person who check you in for court say, okay, sister, you go to room three, house two. We have three houses there, house one, house two, house three. House three are for the men. House one, house two are for the ladies. House one mostly for the helpers, but there are some rooms for the ladies. So don't just note down the house number, ask which bed am I using? Top bed or bottom bed? Okay? There are two bottom beds and one top bed. Not every room. Some rooms have only the bottom base, no top base. Let the check-in staff know that you have submitted the COVID test result. Now, every morning, early morning before you go on the 22nd, you must submit the COVID test result. Take a picture and then send it in. Your brother, go. Brother, go. You are the person in charge. Okay. Brother, go. You receive all the results. So when you check in, we will ask Brother, go. Okay, this person check in. Brother Tom just tell us who didn't send the result. Then we have to stop the person, the person cannot enter, cannot check until they give us the result. Okay? Let the staff know if you have or have not listened to the deduction paid by the RC staff. Now this tape will be given to you probably uh, the appointment in lesson 8 to give the tape to you. Probably I will send it on, put it on YouTube. I think it's already on YouTube, so I will tell you the link. And then you listen to it before you come for the retreat. So this is a compulsory procedure as a practice in all RC retreat centers. So we want you to be familiar with them. Just listen to it any time before you come for the retreat. So if you still haven't listened, although we have told you that you have to tell us, and we will play the tape for you in a special room, and then you can put it all together there, and you can listen to it before you actually start your practice. Read the retreat schedule and 
or other notices that you put up on the main notice board. Before you enter the office, there's a big notice board on your front. So please treat the notices there. There might be duties for you to do, but so far, I think for beginners, we do not give any duties. Okay, emergency contact details. Before you come for the retreat, please give these three persons contact details. Okay, uh, Brother Tom, not necessary. Please cancel Brother Tom's questions. This is for the second retreat. So at the bottom, you see Brother Tom, cancel his name. Uh, it's only for the test result, but don't disturb him and his practicing the beginners retreat. Only myself, Sister Jean, and Brother Casey. Where's, where's Brother Casey? He's not here yet. Oh, he didn't come in. All the men didn't come in. <laughs> <laughs> I also didn't know he's not going to mention anything. They missed. Uh, all the men are still there interviewing. Okay, now this one will need already. So let's go to the SOP form this week. Okay? So please read that. I think we're going to. Did it at home for me to go through. Contact numbers for beginner retreats. The one at the bottom is not for you. Huh? So for you, check in with Sister Sue Ann or Sister Wong. Sister Wong, I will enter the Sister Wong. And Brother Lee. Brother Lee will show you your room. If you are still not clear which house, the man entering the woman's house and the woman entering the man's house. Okay? So Brother Lee will do that. Okay? Brother Lee is very nice. He will walk and show you. If you need anything that is uh, there and you need orientation to the place, the place is very small actually. So you ask Brother Dean, he will show you where is the meditation hall, he will show you where are the toilets for the meditation hall, he will show you the dining hall and the kitchen and where they are supposed to line up at the same time. So Brother Toast number is there for your SOP, for your COVID results. So check out with your sister Cindy. Sister Sriya and Brother Lee okay. So when you check out on Sunday, please check with them that everything is all clear before you get into your car. Hopefully, Sarah will be there in Mangala Lodge uh, by the time you are all uh, preparing to leave. Huh? So you all can pay respect to Sarah before getting into the car and departing from Mangala Lodge. Uh, we will be updated regarding this arrival time because. Uh, his ticket is uh, on the Sunday, 24th of March. So he will arrive at KRA around 11 o'clock or 11.30. And by the time he comes out, it will be around 12.30. And then uh, he will be taken, transferred to another car. And then he will arrive at Mangala Lodge around 4 o'clock. Okay, so you have a chance, a sweet chance to meet him and be able to pay respect to him. Okay? All right. Now, we are supposed to pass the mic over to Sister Wong to discuss the car arrangement. Sorry, uh, Mayor Yudis, your accident, your time, so we finished. <laughs> so you have to read yourself uh, the piece of paper that we give out, and you put it, regarding the things you're supposed to bring, and regarding the SOP. And just reading, if you don't understand, ask. You ask the ladies to know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you cannot bring your things to the meditation hall. Huh? Not like this. Huh? Why? Because you'll be blocking the message. People cannot walk to this. Water bottle, no, you put it outside. We will tell you where to leave the water bottles. Okay? Hmm? That's during meal time. You go back to your room and then take out your purse or sleep bag. You go to the line up, go and line up. Handphone, no. You know, so don't tell me your handphone, please. So that's why I asked you to bring a lock. Bring the combination lock. If you don't bring that buy for me, I must do big business during that day. <laughs> Selling combination locks. <laughs> Remember, I think I, I didn't put that down. Huh? You better write down combination lock for your bag. You lock up your phone. Please, don't surrender your phone to me, you know. Nobody's going to take care of your phone for you. Okay, any questions? If not, we shall talk about the car arrangement. The most important thing, otherwise you cannot even arrive in the system for the one here. Enough. Sure. Anybody here who has not been assigned to a car, please. Any of the registered yogis not assigned to a car yet? 
Please tell me ya, if you have no personal transport. Hopefully all of you have personal transport. So whether you want to go out and eat or not, you have to tell your driver. So that your driver doesn't wait for you and then you will be waiting for so long and nobody come out. So drivers, you better ask your passengers, are they going to follow you out to eat? Are you going out to eat or not? <laughs> the town, right? Very near. I think about six minutes can reach already by car. I told you I don't have. <laughs> I'm not from Kampa. <laughs> so you try your luck. What you can do is you can go internet. You all know that always think go internet, go and look at the place. Like Mandala Lodge is inside Google Map now. You just type Mandala Lodge, you can see Mandala Lodge. And then you see how far which restaurant you want to go in. They have one thing, some restaurant but open very late. I think it's been already closed. And then they have a Chapman restaurant. We, we tried that one. Uh, the last retreat, we tried one Chapman restaurant. It's not bad, but uh, normal. Uh, but I don't know what time they close. Because they are mainly for the uni class students there. Okay? And then there's a small mini market also. There's a pharmacy, all kinds of things there. So when you go out for dinner, if you forgot to bring something, you also can pick it up. <laughs> See, you're so attached to your handphone. You can't live without your handphone. Correct? <laughs> I told you already, I will tell you all the rules of the last lesson, lesson eight. So anyway, handphone, you can check messages only after meals. So after your breakfast one time. Enough? Not enough. After lunch one time. Another time, just before you go to bed. Three times more than enough. <laughs> Don't let me see any of you taking your handphone into the meditation hall. I will confiscate. She cannot get you back anymore. <laughs> Because what happens if people are really making nice and then click, somebody's phone goes off. And there goes your meditation. Sure you will curse that person. <laughs> or some people will be busy looking at messages, you know. So we already gave you the emergency contact. Okay, so before you come, please tell your family, any emergency at home, please contact this one, Sister Jean, Brother Casey, and that's all. Two persons. Okay? Because we have our handphone on. Because we have to monitor this, we have to check the caterer, we have to do a lot of things. So only we have our handphones on. Okay? All of you cannot have your handphone on because you are at your case. We are not organizers. We are not helpers. Alright, everything covered? Huh? Okay. So now we can, we can do the meta chanting and then we continue with your practice.